local university is honoring their tradition of seizing the day by marking a new era in athletics. Mercyhurst University students will now be competing at the highest level of collegiate athletics. Jade Leah Burns joins us now in the studio with much more. Jade. That's right, Sean. All eyes are now on Mercyhurst as they're one of the only schools in the region to make this transition. This action Mercyhurst University has officially joined the NCAA Division I Northeast Conference. After a decade of the school considering this option, it was a unanimous vote by their Board of Trustees last Friday. President Kathleen Getz says D1 is something a lot of students aspire to play, which will benefit their recruitment efforts, putting Erie on the map in the Northeast region. Division I schools are seen appropriately as um, having a higher reputation, as having a little more prestige than schools that are not Division I. The university has worked hard since 2014 to have sufficient coaching staff and the right academic aid for their athletes. One thing that will ease the transition for the athletic department is the condition of their sports facilities that already meet D1 standards. We did some expansion and, and improvement of facilities and fields especially, but this building that we're in right now, the, the Mercyhurst Athletic Center, was uh, all of that was, was um, improved in during COVID actually. The commissioner of the Northeast Conference says Mercyhurst has a lot of competitive success and hits their goals of trying to expand to areas they have yet to partner with. They've been uh, very strong at the D2 level. They have national championships. They've got, you know, final fours. They've got a multitude of conference championships. I mean, you, you could be here for days listing all of their athletic accomplishments. One student who is currently on their women's soccer team says this will be a challenge for their athletic department, but students and staff are prepared to embrace the change. It's just such a culmination, I think, of what past, present, and future athletes have done here. And I just think that the coaches definitely are setting our athletes up for success on and off the field. All sports are anticipated to compete at this level beginning this fall. Sean. Jade Leah Burns reporting tonight. Thank you, Jade.